हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल बी डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट द जेसन फाइल यूजिंग अ पावरशेल कमांड्स टू डू दिस आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन द कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेस शिफ्ट प्लस एफ टेन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन द पावर and i am going to open the powershell isc for that i have to type isc so here we have to run some command for that what i am going to do i am going to open the msh so i just open the github location and where i have uploaded the commands which we have to run these are the microsoft command i just captured those command in a text file so that we can just follow the steps and we can create the json file so for that we have to run all these commands let me copy all these commands in the isc and then i can show you and then i will run it copy and and i have pasted it the very first command we have to run is the set execution policy bypass and we have to click on yes then we have to install the necessary modules for that we have to run these five commands and it's going to download and install the necessary modules now the required modules installed successfully third step is to import all these modules so i am going to execute these commands now its module is also imported now we have to run the connect mg graph to connect the tenant for that i am going to execute the step number 4 now it's asking me to authenticate with the username and password so i am going to use a intune administrator account now i am connected now next step is to get all autopilot profile available in the intune tenant for that i am going to click on get autopilot profile and convert to autopilot configuration json file we can see that i have created one deployment profile in my intune tenant and we can see that same configuration here in the cloud assigned domain join method is equal to 0 if it is zero meaning that it's a azure ready join deployment profile if it is one then it's a hybrid azure ready join deployment profile we can see that the cloud assignment device name this is the cmp and the serial number this is the naming convention i have configured in my deployment profile we have cloud assignment autopilot update timeout which is 180 minute and we have cloud assignment force enrollment is equal to 1 meaning that the device should require as of the directory as well as the mdm enrollment and then we have the cloud assignment tenant id this is my as of the directory tenant id then we have cloud assigned autopilot update disabled is equal to 1 then the jetty id correlation id then the profile name is azure ready join windows autopilot profile and the cloud assign oob config is 1380 and we have cloud assigned tenant domain which is cmp in june lab1.onmicro.com and the cloud assigned language is os default now the next step is to download this profile and convert into json file for that we have to run the powershell command mentioned in the step number 6 so i am going to select and i am going to run it now it's downloaded the a deployment profile and converted the deployment profile in a json format we can see that by opening the run command and in that we have to type c colon backslash autopilot and click on is automatically created a folder based on the deployment name which we mention in the intune portal and within that we have a json file and if i am opening in the notepad file we can see the same thing I hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video